Hi everybody, this is Soraya, Solistic Holistics Hawaii. And um, today I'm gonna to talk about what to do if you get bit by a centipede. So last week I was out walking my doggies and it was dark and I got bit on my little toe by a centipede. Within seconds I was in a lot of pain. <clears throat> I managed to get back to the house Ran upstairs, took some ibuprofen, luckily I had some in the house. Um, took some antihistamines because I can be prone to allergic reactions. And then I came downstairs, put a picture of my foot on Facebook and the responses came flooding in. But by that time I was in so much pain that actually what I did was um, drink a lot of whiskey. I literally went back to my northern yorkshire roots of drinking and swearing and screaming um the neighborhood down <laughs> yeah and actually in a roundabout way that was you know quite fun i haven't done that for a while uh, but i would have liked to have done it under better circumstances so here were some of the things that people told me to do make a bit ba a baking soda paste now i you know, I could not get my head around what that even meant, let alone get up and get into the kitchen and make a baking soda paste. You know, the pain was excruciating. So next couple of days in my, you know, right mind, when I've recovered from my hangover and um, my husband had forgiven me for all the things I'd said in my drunken state. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, here we go, baking soda. Um, and then I decided I'd, you know, vamp that up a little bit and I'm adding some clay and I'm adding some turmeric powder. All right, so I'm gonna make that up into a paste. Now then, if you get bitten by a nasty centipede, um, you know, this is, and you've got somebody in the house to help you, this is the kind of path you're gonna go down. Okay, that's not quite a paste, right? So I'm gonna just tip a whole lot more in there. Okay, the other things that were suggested to me um, was um, a papaya. Put your, foot up in a ma put your foot in a mashed papaya. Now, I have a lot of papaya trees outside, but no ripe papayas. And um, so that wasn't happening either. Um, somebody else suggested a mashed up tomato. So I'm guessing, you know, the enzymes in those fruits help to knock it out. All right, so this is a paste, all right? So now I'm going to take you down to the floor. Let's see if we can still keep this going. This is a week later. I'm going to show you this. Like, hang on, I'm going to show you this. Can I show you that? I've got some honey on there right now. Um, so the, the kind of pain and swelling went down, but it's itching like crazy. This one. I'm doing today. All right, so then you're going to put your foot in this bowl. I'm trying to make it so you get some legal let's get a towel under there stop that noise all right and now i'm going to pack this onto my foot well it's nice and cold there we go boom 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 so now then Let me talk to you while I'm sitting here. Apparently, everybody's got a centipede story. That's what I came to know. Um, and also, one in 10 um, ER visits on Hawaii are because of centipede bites. People go to the emergency room. I didn't want to go to the emergency room. I couldn't imagine anything worse than sitting in the car. At least I could lie on my sofa and scream. Okay, so if you're at home, you live here, just make sure you've got some baking soda in the house. Um, you know, you might, in, depending on the time of year, you might have a ripe papaya. If you're a tourist, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Make sure you're near an ABC store so you can buy um, a bottle of whiskey. All right, hope that's helpful.